Aquarius. You need to know this right now for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. Show me. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So listen, Aquarius, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're having this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. Or you're telling me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind. So dealing with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the spouse, this parent of your child, someone you work with or do business with, could be a lot of tit for tat, tug of war, or some type of mind games and manipulation here. However, you could be very pissed with this person. Aquarius, you have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leora, Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aquarius, listen, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion, or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the page of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the page of wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Aquarius, listen, very well could have an opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. 
So Aquarius, listen, very well could be having this heated discussion or argument concerning stability, either financial stability or with commitment here. We're going back and forth about it. Aquarius, you have the two of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Aquarius, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here, but you can tell me that this is also an agreement. Clarify the two of cups for Aquarius. Clarify the two of cups. For Aquarius, clarify the two of cups. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the star. This is you, Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the star. For Aquarius, clarify the star. For Aquarius, what about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the star for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aquarius, listen, you know, this could all be work or business, yes? However, you can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Now, you can tell me that this is work or business with some type of an agreement and an argument is taking place here. We're going back and forth concerning it. However, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're dealing with your soulmate here and you guys had some type of disagreement or argument, but you're willing to work things out, willing to put in the work here. Aquarius, you have the three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the three of wands. For Aquarius, clarify the three of wands. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the ten of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aquarius, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. However, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting on your abundance here, maybe dealing with work or business or some type of an agreement, and this is the cause for the argument. However, you can tell me that you're waiting to maybe go into some type of commitment and work things out with this person, and maybe this is what the argument is about, is commitment here. However, for some of you guys, you're telling me that this commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics is ending and you're ready to look to see what else is out there. But I don't think so because you're wanting to work things out here. Aquarius, you have the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Four of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. 
So Aquarius, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. So Aquarius, listen, you know, you can tell me that you're needing to make a decision concerning your coins and maybe having to be thrifty while you're waiting on the coins. This is causing some type of argument here. You could also tell me that, hey, you know, you guys had this communication here and it got a little heated and you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're using this sword to sever and you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up here. However, you know, maybe you're just closed off until a decision is made. Maybe they left you waiting here concerning working things out and maybe some type of commitment. Aquarius, you need to know this right now for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.